All right, so I just wanted to do a quick video um, for you guys, especially with uh, Christmas fast approaching us. It'll be here in two weeks um, of, you know, some gift ideas for uh, any of the Cane Corsas, Italian Mastiffs, or other similar large breed dogs in your life. And... Um, you know, wanted to let you guys know that we actually could not find a toy that Logan could not destroy for the first two years of his life. Um, and we, we actually had a video series. Um, so before I started this YouTube channel, I used to film with my husband who, you know, films professionally sometimes. And um, he would film on his, you know, I don't, you know, Panasonic camera. And um, we, so we have a bunch of old footage that we might just release as a, as a joke um, where we used to do like Corso versus Toy. Um, those videos are really a lot harder to edit. So we never actually had the time to sit down in front of the computer and edit them and get them posted. So they, they still haven't made their way onto YouTube, much like Phoenix's birth, which we filmed with his full camera. Um, but, you know, hopefully over the holidays, have some time off work, so I'll be able to hopefully get around to doing that. But um, we originally were so disappointed in a lot of the toys out there that we decided you know, to actually invent a toy that Logan can play with because we'd spend like $15 on a large breed toy, if not more, and we'd end up with like stuffing, you know, similar to those white balls all over our house and he would destroy it in five minutes. So as long as the toy would last longer than a week or so, we felt it was worth it, but we couldn't find very many things um, that did that. I believe the Kong Wubba lasted a couple weeks in our house, almost a month, and the ball inside squeaks forever, so we do recommend that one. Um, and then we ended up shopping at Pet Supermarket in the last year. Which is um, owned by Pet Value, which is actually a Canadian uh, and U.S. company that I think got bought out recently by some investment firm. So, you know, they had these toys um, that are like this, but it was a, um, I think we had the tiger or some other sort of creature, and I was like, really? Okay. So they had them on sale for six bucks. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Even though there's some stuffing in here, we'll go ahead and get one of these um, mighty toys for the dogs. You know, it's so cheap. Uh, that toy lasted us for a month, you know? And so now you can see they have the Christmas version. They have a snowman, but I'm not about to get a white toy with a Mastiff male who has seriously large jowls. That's not roasting. Jack Frost. Um, you know, so we ended up getting the reindeer and it's $12.99, and it lasts for pretty much a whole month. Um, they're just something about this company, which I believe um, for Christmas is called Tis the Season, but it's really uh, also called Jump. It's made in China by pet retail brands, and you can see there it's actually made in Canada. So um, all of our Canadian friends... I don't believe a lot of you watch from Canada, but, you know, this is definitely uh, a great Christmas gift because it should last at least a week in your household. Now, if you have like a serious chewer destroyer, um, the reviews are mixed, but this is a toy that can withstand the power of a Corso's jaw. So 
Uh, this is one of the things we got the pups for Christmas. Um, I will also post a video at the end of this showing another toy that actually hasn't been destroyed yet. It's currently in our backyard, but we got it when the pups were born as sort of a gift to Logan for something to do since he couldn't be with them or Phoenix and it's still in our backyard. So I will show you guys at the end, um, you know, uh, the video we made of when we gave it to Logan and before that um, or after that, I will show you guys um, what it looks like if I can find it in the backyard. But last I checked, it may have one tear in it and the seams are just phenomenal. So. Um, that company that makes those ones, we like the Rhino, and the Rhino will be linked um, in our description, um, but there, it's a company called Outward Hound. Now, their specialty is really the seams of the toys, but the actual fabric that they use, you know, is not as good. But they have, you know, squeakers, and the squeakers seem to last a really long time, which dogs just love. So it's really Outward Hounds and uh, Jump brand toys. Um, and these I can't find anywhere. They only seem to be sold through Pet Valley or Pet Supermarket. They're not on Amazon. Um, so I will link Pet Supermarket um, you know, listing because you can purchase them online if you live in North America. And so um, I really like them, but the you know, number one toy we've found so far, luckily is on Amazon and it's on Chewy um, and it's Outward Hounds Invincibles. And it's really the six, uh, a four squeaker rhinoceros, um, which you'll see at the end of this video, or you can just click on the link in our description and it will take you to Amazon. Um, we're also got these, you know, a rope, ropes last forever in our house. They end up getting dirty, so we throw them out. Um, but these ropes are really, really braided well, so they tend to last a long, long time. Um, and then this one we liked because it's made of ropes and just covered with a fabric. So it can definitely give their jaw a good workout. So. That is our uh, Christmas um, giftings for the dogs. We wish you guys, you know, a very happy holidays. Um, but just wanted to get this out. So if you're looking for any last minute gifts for your Corso, these are definitely something you want to check out. All right, so now we're going to let the females in. Um, Logan is downstairs. He has returned. <laughs> Uh, that will be a separate video because, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, but he has seen Chevy. There was no issues, but he's very distracted with his wife and the smell of her heat. So um, we'll be working on that. I want to show you guys to see. Um, these guys are not really, like, on Logan's level of playing, but... You know, let's see if they find their toys uh -uh, off under the Christmas tree. it's one thing if toys last it's another thing if they don't play with them so Chevy is more like her dad she will actually she's like oh let's try all of these I like them Phoenix, what you doing? Let 
Yeah, Phoenix is not much of a player. Yeah, good girl, Chevy. No, leave it. Ah, ah. Do not go on the couch. Good girl. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you. And that's one thing that I love about Chevy, is she just, you say uh-uh, and she knows not to do something. So she's been pretty good. And she loves her toys, my goodness. She's like her dad. Phoenix, what are you doing? She keeps trying to get to her husband. Yeah, and Phoenix has gone. She's trying to get to her man. So uh, I'm gonna go outside and see if I can find that rhino toy that's lasted for so long in our house and bring these toys downstairs for them. And, um, you know, we'll definitely keep you guys updated in our future videos on how long they last. Um, when I looked on Amazon and some of the reviews, you know, some of these last longer than others. So I heard that um, the snake does not last as long as the rhino. Um, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, this girl is a busybody. Go, 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 go. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl. Woo. Yeah, it's slippery. You're not supposed to be using the stairs. And that's why we think she'll do well in a multiple dog home because she likes to play with other dogs. But yeah, the rhino is our favorite. Um, then I would say it's this one here. The mighty toy and then um, these ones are great because they don't have stuffing and they're just rope but um, yeah we'll bring them downstairs and try and find the rhino okay so I've been searching high and low for this rhino toy to show you guys how tough it is and it does still exist <laughs> and we've had this for now almost six months and we'll see, still squeaks, I'm telling you. And they love it, and they have not. They've gotten maybe a little tear out of the fabric, but, you know, they've all played with it. They all fight with it, pull it back and forth, and, you know, it's lasted so long. So I th I've never seen a stuffy toy last like longer than weeks so that's why we would uh you know let you guys know like what no better way to spend 15 bucks and yeah let us know if you do buy it and how it goes because i'd love to know what level of chewers ours have um but you know they've destroyed pretty much everything that we've bought um Especially Logan, not so much Phoenix or Chevy, but Logan destroys everything, and so he has not destroyed that yet. All right, Logan, we got you a toy to destroy Corso verse. Mean mugger. I say 20 minutes. Go. Oh.
Get him. Yeah. Yeah. You want to come out and get him a little bit? Just going to chew him up. We have yet to find a toy that Logan couldn't destroy, but, um, you know, he really seems to enjoy destroying things, so. If you guys have Corsos or Great Danes or any of the giant breeds, um, and you have a toy that's lasted like a week or longer, let us know. The only thing that's lasted, I think, is um, in the bone realm, but we're looking for soft toys or squeaker toys. Um, Indestructibone has lasted us um, a long time. Um, ropes last us a long time. But there's no stuffies or squeakers, which he really likes to play with, that really last. I'm just not feeling it, bud. Yeah, you want to run around with him. Of course. Put on your show pony. So usually Logan likes to run around with his toys, shake them around, and then he just likes to rip them apart. Now we are still waiting to go get his tooth, tooth, tooth checked out in a couple weeks. So he does have one uh, dead fang on his right upper, but um, he does enjoy a good destroying of the stuffies. And I'm very tempted to just give him the Kong toy to see which one he actually likes better, but um, good job, Logan. All right, so we'll be back and let you guys know how long this toy lasted. At least it's not been able to be instantly destroyed, which is definitely something.